What's going on YouTube? Why Kanye the Great here with another edited video. Today we're going over Witch Queen prep guide for you guys. It'll be a quick one as we're actually going to be prepping for Witch Queen live this Friday, which is tomorrow if you're watching this right when the video drops, but that'll be February 4th in a 10 hour live stream. We're going to do all this Witch Queen prep live, but before we do that, I'm going to go over all the things that you're going to need to do if you can't join us for that live stream. So first off guys, we're gonna go ahead and order the deluxe edition to make sure that we get the exotic SMG and catalyst. And of course, all the seasons of the upcoming uh, Destiny. Now, if you can't get this one, that's okay. You're gonna miss out on that exotic SMG in the seasons, but you can get the regular Witch Queen, uh, which this one's fine. You'll be able to uh, partake in all the weapon crafting and still get your glaives and uh, still be able to uh, do the missions. So that'd be cool. But I would highly suggest getting the deluxe edition to make sure you get all the extras and get the full experience. So obviously, what is Witch Queen prep? Well, for a veteran player, most likely your vault is extremely full. So let's go ahead and talk about the vault space first. A lot of your guys' vaults probably look like this. Something close to 500 out of 500, 498 out of 500, you know what I mean. It's probably quite full. Now, with Witch Queen, we're gonna be getting new exotics, new legendary weapons, new armor pieces, new ghosts, new sparrows. We're gonna need a ton of space, especially with weapon crafting, all that. So, this Friday, February 4th, I'm gonna be going through all of this and dismantling all the weapons that I don't really need. And you guys can join me in that. So that's gonna take a while. But highly suggest that. Now, the reason I'm saying do this first is every time you break down any materials, you're going to get telemetries, right? And you're going to go take that to Mr. Banshee over here, right? But before you even go to Banshee to claim his telemetries, you need to go and claim all of your engrams from all of the vendors. As you see right here, we got shacks here. This vendor, I have 262 engrams to claim. Some of you guys have engrams to claim over here at Zavala. Make sure you claim all these. Next thing that you're going to do, once you break every single one of your materials down, this is the fun part. Not really. This is the worst part. Uh, but it's very important. Banshee44, his telemetries, gunsmith materials are going away at Witch Queen. He's right here, uh, Gunsmith Rewards. Um, yeah, I have 8,020 of these to claim. And probably more. We'll probably be closer to 10,000 once I clear my vault and claim all 260 of those engrams and break them down, as every time you break those down, you're gonna get these Gunsmith Rewards, Telm Entries. Uh, I would say uh, make sure that you do claim these before Witch Queen. Again, that'll be third on my list. I guess fourth if we count buying Witch Queen. We're going to buy Witch Queen on Friday in the live, uh, live stream as well. But make sure you get rid of all those, claim all those um, at the very end. And then as you get rewards from that, you're going to break those down and get even more telemetries. So this is going to be quite a process. Uh, you can see how long this is going to take on Friday. It's probably going to be a full 10 hour stream of me just breaking stuff down. All right. So what next should we do for Witch Queen? This one right here, huge tip, guys. It is collecting bounties. Now I have three guardians. I have a hunter, I have a titan, and a warlock. Now as you guys can see, we have all these unclaimed bounties. Now you want to gonna want to save all these as you can see they don't have an expiration date on it right so the reason of that is when witch queen drops you're gonna claim these after the first mission that they give you and you get your seasonal artifact now if you don't know what the seasonal artifact is it's right here every single season we get one of these and you have to unlock them all of these little perks so you're going to be able to unlock these much quicker if you get your XP and bounties claimed on all three of your guardians the first day, right? Because you're going to um, also, this is how you get your power bonus up here. You know, we have a 27 power bonus, but you could probably get a good, you know, couple power bonuses early before you even load into a match just by saving up bounties. Now, what are some of the best bounties? Well, 
some of the easiest bounties for a lot of you new lights out there are going to be right here banshee they give you your best bang for your buck because they're going to also give you enhancement cores mod components what are mod components like kanye well that's what you use to go down to ban not banshee my apologies ada one at the tower to get her mods for your armor armor mods right so you need mod components for that and you get xp um so you can go in and get these and you can do these uh in pve or pvp and you just read it and follow it i would highly suggest not getting these uh, as they cost 3,000 glimmer the additional bounties the very last box with uh, even Shax and Zavala these all cost 3,000 glimmer and they don't even give uh, the enhancement cores but these cost 250 glimmer and look how much more they give you this gives you one mod component in XP this one gives you two mod components and an enhancement core so I'd highly suggest getting the first couple boxes and skipping out on that last box now another little tip about uh, collecting your bounties is you have a max amount of bounties. And the reason that is, uh, is you can only hold a certain amount of quests, right? And bounties at any given time. So if I go through and delete these quests or finish them before Witch Queen and get them out of here, it means I can add more bounties to this list. So all these are just taking up valuable xp space so we can get rid of all these we're going to go through on friday and get rid of all these so i hope to see you guys there on friday for all this and i'm going to be filling my bounties up on my hunter and my warlock and my titan as well on friday after we break every one of these things down i'm probably going to be going from 1000 how many legendary probably going from 1241 legendary shards to probably like 5000 legendary shards i'm looking forward to it uh guys so i hope to see you guys there we're pushing hardcore for 3000 subs before which queen drops on february 22nd february 22nd we're even doing a 24 hour live stream to raise awareness and hopefully hit that last couple subs of 3000 so share it out tell your friends all that good stuff hit the like button sub button join button and notifications on always and I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be probably tomorrow for Witch Queen Prep. Yeah, we're going to have a Witch Queen party. Witch Queen Prep party. We're going to order pizza. And it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, keep telling yourself that way, guys.